G'day guys and welcome to another video. As you can tell by the title, this video is about what sold for me on February 2019 on eBay. So we have a lot to go through, so let's just jump straight into it. So the first item that sold for me was a pair of these Levi's 514 jeans. They sold for $40 and they ended up paying $4.60 for the item and after fees and shipping it worked out to be a $20.11 profit. So the next item that sold for me it was actually two pairs of Asics Keanu shoes. This pair and this pair. Now, they ended up selling them for $120. The shipping was $15.80 and the cost of the items was only $17. So after all the fees, the PayPal and eBay, fee, eBay fees, it ended up being an $81.58 profit. So the next item that I sold was this Quicksilver jumper. Now, I sold it for $35.55 and only paid me $5 and it cost me $5 for the item. So after all the fees and shipping, it ended up being a $12.61 profit. So the next item I sold were the two RM Lee pants. Now I sold them for $90 and only paid $7.10 for a total profit of $65.21. So the next item were these Lorna Jane pants. Now I sold them for $27. Yes, it's really, really cheap, but I actually got these pants for free. So after the fees and shipping, it was an easy $17.35 profit. And the next item is another pair of Levi's. Now these are the 501, ended up selling them for $40. And they paid $4.60 for the item for a total profit of $25.41. So next was a pair of these R.O. William Black Chinos. Now I sold them for $55. It only cost me $3.55 for the actual item themselves. So that was a total profit of $35.00. And 77 cents after all fees and shipping. So next we have a pair of these super dry cargo pants. Now these pants were a score. Sold them for a hundred dollars and it only cost me three dollars ninety for those cargo pants. So that was an insane deal for a total profit after fees and shipping of seventy nine dollars and thirty twenty twenty five cents. Yeah, seventy nine twenty five. Next we have these Canon. It's a lot of ink cartridges. Sold them for thirty dollars and only paid $4, so $2 for each one, for a total profit of $14.10. That was a pretty sweet deal. What we have is a pair of these Nike Rodriguez shoes, and I ended up selling them for $65. Now, I bought these at a suitcase rummage sale here in Brisbane for $15, for a total profit after fees and shipping of $35.16. Next, I've sold another pair of Levi's 501. But this time I sold this pair for $42. And I only paid $4.60 for this item. So up to the fees and shipping, and it ended up being a total profit of $22.06. The next item I sold was another pair of Levi's. Levi's? <laughs> Levi's. But these are the 504. Ended up selling these for $46, but I only paid $4 for these bad boys. For a total profit after the fees and shipping of $26.55. The next item I sold was a pair of these Ben Sherman jeans. Now, this item actually ended up going overseas to New York and the buyer ended up paying $78.20. The shipping was $37.70. It only cost me $4.66 for the item for a total profit of $24.21. Now the next item I sold was this Canon ink cartridge. Now I actually had two left and they both sold simultaneously one after another. Now the guys ended up buying them for $26.55 and it only cost me $1.66 per cartridge. After fees and shipping, that was a total profit of $13.46. So the next item I sold was this Levi's jacket. Now this one was a bit of an experiment because I bought this one at the car, uh, the sorry the suitcase sale as well as the Nike shoes. Now I ended up paying up for this one $30, but I sold it for $83. After fees and shipping, that's a total profit of $37.69. The next, I sold two pairs of G-Star Raw jeans to the one buyer. This pair and this pair. Now, the pairs were the Coda and the East, ended up paying a total of $90, and it only cost me $6, I believe, yeah, $6 for those jeans, for a total profit of $68.51. Now, that was the score. So I ended up selling a pair of these Armani jeans next. Now, the person ended up paying $85 for them, and it only cost me 7 bucks for the item. So after the fees and shipping, it was a total profit of $53.38. So the next item I sold were a pair of these Lee Rider jeans, and they ended up selling for $30. It only cost me $6 for the item. After fees and shipping, that was a total profit of $12.67. But the next item I ended up selling was a pair of these brand new R.M. Williams Navy Chinos. Now, this is what I got for the Salvos at Stone's Corner. Ended up selling them for $80. It only cost me $7.72 uh, for this item for a total profit after the fees and shipping of $55.95. 
So I ended up selling a pair of these moody jeans and I ended up selling them for $38 and only cost me $6.85. So after all the fees and shipping, that was a total profit of $12.87. So the next item I sold was actually my first ever book sale. It was the Wild Seas book. I ended up selling it for $29 and it only cost me $2. So after fees and shipping, that was a total profit of $17.30. And the next item is a pair of these Globe shoes. Now this was actually a Facebook Marketplace pickup. I ended up picking them up for $10 and selling them for $45. But after fees and shipping and all that, ended up being $15.78 profit. But these shoes have been sitting around for a while, so thank God I got them gone. Next item I sold was a pair of these Crossroads black studded skinny jeans. Now I actually have four pairs of these. Um, and they've been sitting around for a while, the brand new with tags, but ended up selling this one for $37.95. But it only cost me $7 for the item. So after the fees and shipping and everything, it ended up being a $12.68 profit. Next is a pair of these Ralph Lauren chinos. Ended up selling them for $36, but it only cost me $3.55 for these bad boys. So that was a total profit after fees and shipping of $22.56. Next was this 12 inch digital photo frame. Ended up picking up this for $6.27 and selling it for 100. So after fees and shipping, that was a total profit of $6.88. Next item was this Bisley High Biz shirt. This has been sitting around in my store since I actually first began with the eBay business, but I ended up selling it for $29. But I only paid $6.50 for it, so a total profit of $10.74 after fees and shipping. Next item was this Scrabble board game. Ended up selling it for $35. Now I did pay $10 for this, which is way too high than what I would like which ended up being a profit after fees and shipping of $9.84. Next item is a pair of Levi's, but these are the 511. Ended up selling them for $38, but I only paid $7.08 for this item. So after fees and shipping and whatnot, ended up making $15.68. So this next item here, guys, I'm gonna slow it down a little bit uh, because this one's actually a bit of a doozy. Uh, so for me to explain it, I'm not gonna talk crazy fast or anything like this to fly it through so just bear with me now I ended up selling this bundle of PlayStation 2 games a lot of you I don't know if you watched Aussie reseller I mentioned that I sold it um, on his live stream ended up selling it for $40 now the item got to the gentleman he was happy with the packaging and everything like that but he wasn't happy with the condition of the disc now I did put very good which was my mistake I checked them and they looked absolutely fine uh, but he wasn't happy with it and to save face I ended up refunding him because he sent me this this message um, And to save any arguments or anything like that I just sent him a message to him saying hey I'm gonna refund you straight away, which is what I did responded his $40 which means I was out of pocket about 30 something dollars um, I then got a message the next day or the two days after um, And he was shocked that I refunded him. He was very grateful that I actually replied to him straight away um, and he, he didn't expect a refund um, so he said to save face um, he wanted to send me back $20 uh, but he ended up actually sending me back $30 uh, because he felt better about it so apologizing a lot guys does probably help you in this business especially when it comes to refunds the best thing to do is just to refund the buyer and just move on and that's what I was planning on doing I was planning on cutting my losses and moving on but this guy obviously felt bad and you know we were talking a lot and he ended up giving me $30 back because he said he could try and resell the rest of his games so I actually ended up being a dollar 57 out of pocket compared to the $30 guys so when it comes to refunds don't be scared just apologize and just move on so after all that kerfuffle the next item I actually ended up selling was a pair of Levi's 504 jeans and I ended up selling these bad boys for $45 which only cost me $7.72. So after all the fees and shipping of that item, I made a profit of $21.86. So on the same day, the actual same buyer ended up purchasing another pair of Levi's but 503 jeans, paying $45 again, but I only paid $7.08 for these jeans. And that was a total profit of $22.50. Now I couldn't combine the shipping with that lot because she paid for them both separately. So. It was a bit of bad luck. They, eBay did say I can go through PayPal, but it just looked like a giant headache and just thought I'd ship them off separately and save the fuss.
So the next item I ended up selling was a pair of these Lee Z1 jeans. Ended up selling them for $35, but it only cost me $4.60 for the item. So after your fees, your shipping and whatnot, ended up making $15.24. So this next item, I've actually sold it before. The exact same type, model, everything. So the Catman Do shirt, ended up selling for $31, but it only cost me $4 for this item. So after all the fees and shipping and whatnot, it was a total profit of $17.24. So this next item was a bit of, uh, well it's actually one of my first kind of attempts at retail arbitrage. It was the Xbox Guitar Hero Live 360, brand new in the box, but the box was kind of, uh, it seemed better days. Paid $18 for it, but ended up selling it for $70. So the total profit after all the fees and shipping and whatnot was a $25.76 profit. So uh, not too bad for something I found at a retail shop. And last but not least, yes guys, we got there. Thank you so much for your patience. It was a pair of these Tommy Hilfiger jeans. I uh, ended up selling them for $40, where it only cost me $4 for them. So after all the fees and shipping and whatnot, that was a $20.71. Whew, we got there. So just let you know guys too, I actually ended up doing an Instagram sale as well to another reseller because I had a bulk load of women's shoes and clothing that I wasn't going to bother putting up so I ended up selling it to them for $50. So the grand total of what I made on eBay in 2019 on February is $1,080.56 but I don't know about you but that could seriously change someone's life and my god compared to January. That is a big improvement. And with this business, as you guys have known in my last videos, I'm always looking at improving. So $1,000 extra on top of working a shitty job is, is awesome. So uh, thank you so much guys uh, for watching this video. Hopefully you got some insight on what could possibly sell for you. Uh, leave a like if you guys did like this video. Don't forget to subscribe because I do this weekly. YouTube is like a thing for me now and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, thank you so much for all the Australian resellers. Just to let you know that there's a link in the description to a uh, Australian reseller Facebook page. You don't have to be in Australia to actually join it. Come along, see some like-minded people um, and also have a check out my Instagram page. I post on my stories and that pretty much daily. So thanks a lot guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Look out from the